before. We've been received, welcomed. We feel like we come home because we do live out in the Parker Ranch. That's our home. <laughs> oh, I forgot to tell Mary and Larry. Uh, yeah, We're moving in. Yeah, we, and you've got seven new guests that will be, will buy the groceries, of course. But, <clears throat> no, we've been well cared for, spoiled, and, and little dogs love us. <laughs> right? So thank you, Rocky, for setting up a teepee for our boys. Our youth boys stayed in the teepee their first time for two nights. And uh, we're so thankful for everyone that serves. Dan cooked us up some tuna that, I'm sorry, I told him I'm like a dog. You feed me once like that, I'll be back. <laughs> So uh, that's some good cooking right there. That was wonderful. Maggie is ruined for life as far as... Uh, by the way, I want Maggie to stand. This is a pastor of Shekinah in Longview, Washington. <coughs> and these are her boys. And uh, this is our grandson here, Presley on the drums. And we got Gideon over there playing bass. And we have Esther on the far uh, singing with us, and, and uh, Israel. She has her, her children here. And they decided to join us in our First Nation ministry that we travel. So um, I'm so honored to have kids and youth. And I'm hoping and praying that these guys would be able to reach somebody here in Salets. Yeah. They have a couple songs that they, they're going to do as well. But I wanted to do a couple from a friend. Jonathan Miracle, uh, who we just posted, and uh, and we have other things that we could do. So thank you, Father, for for this time. So this first song will be on EO.
go where he goes. I, I, I don't want to be the same. I don't want to be, I don't know, every service even. Let's just look at that. Every Sunday, I want something new. I want to be transformed. I want to be with him. I want to, I want to be with him.
sin with you, Lord. Take us away. Take us away from the mindset that we have here on earth to have a heavenly mind, a renewed mind. Who wants a renewed mind? I want to, I want to think better. I want to respond better. I want to react to somebody that just cut me off or ticked me off. I want to respond better, honorably. Lord, help me to respond. Help me to love the way you are teaching us to love. I, we need a transition in this country. We need a transition, Lord. There's so much going on from the top to the bottom, left, right, north, south. So many things going on. But you know, if we do our part, if we can be, if we can be kind to one person in a day, we're making a difference. If we can repent and go to our family member and say, you know what, I need to, I need to come clean. I do not want to carry bitterness. I do not want to carry resentment or anger against you. This is the Lord saying this. The Lord is saying, he speaks about this in scripture. Yes. You know, to love your enemy. Yes. To go back to those that have offended you and respond to them and go, you know, I was offended, but you know what? I'm, if, if I keep carrying this, it's going to destroy me inside. I'm going to release it. Well, your offense is not going to bother me anymore. I am going to lay it down today. Even today, Sunday, at the powwow grounds, there's going to be stuff that we're going to lay down. Let's do that right now. Lord, I just ask right now, if anybody's listening to my voice, if, if, if there's something that you've been hanging on to, we're, you're not alone. We're here with you. We're here together. You, you don't have to do this alone. And just lay, lay that down. Lay it down right now. If it's your parents or a sibling or someone to your left, right? Someone in the church. A pastor may have said something. A church member may have said something. I know my, my younger brother, for some reason, still will not walk and be a part of what I do because of something that happened to him in the church. I, I have no idea what that was. But if there's something, please lay that down today. I have something this morning. Ah. Um, I called my daughter, daughter-in-law, to um, come with me today. And um, I was leaving at 8:30 to be here. For church and for work. And so I called her and I said, hey, we're leaving in an hour. And she said, okay, so I'll be ready. Well, <laughs> her ready is not my ready. <laughs> She's on the Indian time. And so I went over a little before an hour because I knew that I would be waiting. And um, so I honked and she never come out, and I honked, and she never come out. So then I called her, and I'm like, Dora, and she was like, I'm coming, Sylvia. She goes, I'll just put my makeup on the way, and I said, Yes, you can do that. Well, I waited some more, and waited some more, and I called her, and I'm like, Dora, I do not want to be late. I said, I'm gonna leave you if you don't come right now, and she's like, I'm coming, Sylvia, and she was like. You know, just go. Just go without me. I'm not going to go. And I said, no. And so I waited another five minutes, and she didn't come because she got her feelings hurt. I know her. And um, so I left. And on my way through town, I called her and told her that I was sorry for yelling at her that I didn't want to be late. And um, told her to get a hold of one of our cousins that I know he'll probably come today. And she said, I will. And I said, then you can ride home with me. <laughs> and so it is true that impatient and um, just on a time. But at the same time, I have a praise, yes. the Holy Spirit move, and we've been praying for uh, a gentleman in our church of cancer, and he went through the chemo and all that you got to go through, and he is queen of cancer. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
teaches us and I you know this youth group has only played with me twice so we're we're still practicing you don't mind us practicing with you guys do you <laughs> these kids are great awesome. Awesome. Thank you, Jesus. Lord God bless them Father bless them bless them Lord
want to go back into the chorus right there where it's saying there's joy in the house of the Lord today. Um, who here believes our God reigns above everything? So if we believe it, why aren't we singing it out loud enough? I want you all to be louder than us right now. So we're going to go back into that. I want you all to just sing your hearts out. Sing to you. You, you can't sing it.
you want the Lord to consume you fully even when you move out of this place of worship, Lord, sing it out. Give you permission, our hearts are yours, we want you, yes, we want you, yes, Lord.
praise his holy name as he's asked us to do. Come together as one. We love you, Lord. Some of us need to be caught today. Some of us need more, you more than we did yesterday. We're going to have uh, Israel. Can you just drum that a little bit? I got. I got to. I have to share something. Good morning. Okay, so maybe most of you don't know me. Uh, I was born in Vancouver, British Columbia. A. Eh? No, I, 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 
I'm the Yankee Doodle of our family. Most of our family lives in, the, in British Columbia. And anyway, I was raised on the reserve up there, the res, as you say here. And uh, growing up, it was, uh, you guys know your res stories, not the best. You know, alcoholic, father, abusive. And, but the light uh, in our family was my mother who sang and played guitar. And my grandmother, her mother, played every instrument that she could put her hands on, accordion, bass, guitars, bongos. So that it was a sweet memory in my little life, other than we ran the res most all summers when we were little, barefoot, never put shoes on. And we lived so far out in the sticks, uh, there were bear out there, and once we learned that they, we would startle them, they were afraid of us. So what do little boys do? We go chasing bear. So we chased bear, screamed at him, and I mean, I would run too if you had three, four Indian boys screaming at you. So <clears throat> until one stopped, stood up on its hind legs, and turned towards us, and we looked at each other and we left and we we stopped chasing bear after that because it but in the roughness of it as my father who was actually an orphan raised by uncles and he no nurturing of any kind raised uh, my mom gave birth to 14 children and the first uh, one didn't make it but I come from a very large family and then dad just didn't know how to function so you know he numbed himself all the time and uh, we moved away from him because it was so bad so we moved from Canada to Eastern Washington and then a, a month or so later he shows up and he promised that he wasn't gonna uh, drink and he didn't until his last days and uh, he had cancer in his early 50s and they had to move back home because of the medical that the help you get in Canada so I go visit him them with the family and he had a Bible uh, uh, on the end table and I looked at that and I said is that yours and he goes yeah I said I had to surrender my life because you know, he's looking at me and apologizing to me. He says, I'm sorry, son. With his red eyes, and he was dying of cancer, but sitting there. And I go, you're sorry for what? And he just says, I'm sorry. He didn't have to say what for what. And, but what made a difference, but I'm getting emotional here, is uh, he grabbed the Bible and he held it up like this and he says you need to read this son and I, I literally I'm sorry but I laughed at him I said I can't believe you you're telling me that I need to read a Bible and you didn't show me any of this growing up but he says son I surrendered this is what I read now and when he passed my brother's got the the best rifles, the best knives, all the cool collecting father stuff you get. And um, sh mom did walk up to me with two knives, uh, a nasheath one and a folding one, which I still have. And then she goes, son, this is something I think your father would want. And it was his Bible. and do the work I do. This is a message for Celeste. The scripture in 1 Corinthians 13, verse 13. Until then, there are three things that remain. Faith, hope, and love. 
yet love surpasses them all. So above all else, let love be the beautiful prize for which you run. And I see a theme here as we come to Salets and, and share and pray with you that we are to surrender our lives, to repent, whatever that is. And not in a religious way, but in a personal way. In John 17, everybody, if you, if you can, even if you haven't picked up a Bible in 50 years, go to John 17 for the scripture. But one of the things that G Jesus was um, wanting to leave, he you know, was talking to the Father about that we are one. We are to be united as He is. We need to be like Him. We need to be one. And He wants every denomination that's represented here. You, as a church, who are as unique as you are, He wants you to be one. So, let's tear down these walls of denomination. Let's tear them down. Let's go there. Let's continue to honor the church. But just remember our brother and sister to our left and right that are down the street or in another fellowship. Greet them. Honor them. Smile at them. But because his, in his word he says, I, I want you all to be as one. Amen. Amen. He wants us to fly. Thank you, Jerry Chapman and Leslie, for being here. Thank you all for being here for a church service, a worship service this morning. And John 17, if you want to read that. Again, you don't need a church. You don't need a building. You can bow your head wherever you are. Whoever you are, God loves you. doesn't matter your background. doesn't matter the color of your skin. He loves us, and this is such a beautiful place. We thank you. Again, to the CTSI, Confederated Tribes of the Siletz Indians, for allowing us to come up. Thank you, guys. Woo! And we will be out of here. We get 10 through 11, and it's almost 11, so um, <laughs> would you just bow your heads and let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time. We pray your continued blessings upon this place and upon these people. Every single person, Lord, you love. Thank you for your love. Thank you that you sent your son for us. Yeshua, Jesus. We do pray in the name of Jesus and we ask him to honor the people here by his love. Reach out your hearts to him in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, I also... Scott and Kelly came uh, to Wachoni camp. Wachoni is a a powwow we do in Turner, Oregon, which was just been a few weeks ago. And we invite you next year. Just type in Wachoni. It's spelled W-I-C-O-N-I. Wachoni. And uh, so we gather the Canadians, Alaskans, all over the country gather not far from you, Turner, Oregon. And so uh, it's a great thing. We also have a First Nation Sunday service that we do in Longview. And we have people uh, sometimes uh, make special trips. We have people from Coeur d'Alene coming to Washington State to a First Nation service. We have people two hours away to the north who come to a First Nation service. So if you type in Shekinah Christian Fellowship in Longview. Christian Center. Christian Center, there's a, uh, if you're traveling, so the first Sunday of every month we gather. So that's another thing I wanted to invite you to. But anyway, real quick, I know we got to get going. You guys helped make, uh, we did a workshop and I wanted a protocol 
uh, those that invited us. So you guys, even though your hands were, we taught these guys how to make these. So they, so these belong to you from the, and whoever you decide to give them to. Uh, thank you so much again. <clears throat> Drum speaker Jerry Chapman, and we'd like to give you some gifts. Thank you for being here. This is from Tina. She's been working on this, Tina Ritaskin. It's got a big sacred ground on the back. I asked Jerry, what do you what do you wear? He wears that size. So that's for you, and this is from us as well. Right here. God bless you guys and thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you.